Hello, guys and gals, me, Muda Har, and welcome to another episode of Dank Web Browsing, episode number 109, ladies and gentlemen. One more until we get to the first 10 episodes of the fucking uh, 100 to 200 category of Deep Web episode, Dank Web Browsing, the series where we take a look at the side of the internet. It's a little too danker for regular viewing. Of course, I've already given this intro about 108 other times, plus more, give or take. Here we have the Deep Web. That being said, cringy intros are very cringy intros always. Let's get into our very first website. God damn, dude, if it's going to be one Achilles heel for this whole fucking thing, it's that intro shit, dude. You got no idea. One day, I'll make like an hour-long compilation of all the failed fucking intros, dude. I swear to God, it's going to be happening. But today, the very first website, as you can tell, is The Nameless Void. Now, I'm going to enlarge the text a little bit because fuck me in the ass. They're huge. This is the venturing of one individual into the side of stories that are really fucking incredible, like really, really fucked up, apparently, things like that. Uh, topics on the supernatural, all that shit. And uh, yeah, so let's go into the nameless void. So here we have the Black Eyed Children, which is one of the most disturbing paranormal entities. I'm not sure if they're just a creepypasta story. Well, see, we're almost going kind of full circle now. We got, we're got we kind of branching out into what we already do. We got a little bit of the creepypasta is in this uh, episode. In fact, now that that's happening, I just got like this mind like jolt or whatever. <laughs> this mind jack, if you will. Uh, where I, I'm remembering when we were on Intel Exchange, we were on like a creepy, but we read a couple of creepy puzzles on there, but anyways. Someone was allegedly stricken with aggressive cancer after just seeing them. You can find that story here. Now that takes us to an unencrypted clearnet link, which we're going to go into. Now as we go through more and more and more, we're going to look through the site, obviously. The Prince of the Power of the Air. His gnarled fingers wrap around the planet like, okay, what, are we actually, are we reading creepypastas right now? Oh, we got into another freaking, I think this is just, fuck, yeah, this is just creepypasta stuff. Here we go, lady. This is from, like, Weak and Weird. All right, this is not the site we were looking at, so let's actually back out of that entirely. But, uh, his gnarled fingers wrap around the planet like a web, ensnaring everybody and everything. He commands genocide and annihilation, and we oblige docilely. Unaware that we are slaughtering ourselves to appease his bloodlust, from the forgotten abyss he watches, his thin, pale lips stretched into a hideous grin, barring his blackened, needle-like teeth. His iron whales bring call forth fire and destruction from the heavens. We tell ourselves that we have control, that we can stop the war and achieve peace. We cannot. We are programmed. Damned to kill endlessly. And we will only find peace when every last human has been reduced to ash. All right, that was a little bit of a, I guess, creepy pasta here, and I think viewing into the void is about the same thing. Now over here, they've got journals. Uh, they're lame live journal and a dead journal, and I haven't heard of a fucking dead journal, but I guess we're about to figure that shit out. Uh, chatting, if you want to chat, you can go, they got like two different chats over here, like chatter, chator, which I think I've shown you before in Daniel's chat, which I think I've also shown you. Uh, but here we have their live journal and their Russian Lamashta. I can tell they're Russian by uh, at least, well, you know, I'm just going to assume that they're from Eastern Europe too. Uh, yeah, what the hell is this over here? Uh, God, I am out of shape. Ugh, I really let myself go. I look so hot in the user pick, but fast forward a little over a decade and look what happens. All right, I think this is just like a Facebook type. I think this is actually a picture of them, Lamashta. All right, interesting. What is this? I wish I hadn't let her go. Lockdown eminent. I think we're getting into fucking Tumblrina territory. We're going to back out of that. This is the Dead Journal, which is by Raven. Help support Dead Journal. Get a paid account. Ugh. Well, I mean, hey, if you want to support a Dead Journal, by all means, you, you do what you need to. They've got a... They, fuck friendship. Here we go again, I guess. Doom, doom, doom. I have a similar one. I call it gas, gas, gas. Gross. Careers are too social. LinkedIn is a social networking equivalent of sleeping your way to the top. What the fuck? <laughs> um, all right, dude. If you believe in God, you have no room to ridicule someone who believes in Bigfoot. Astronaut Napolitan ice cream, yum. One year closer to death. I'm just glad people have started leaving me alone about it. I've already contemplated my own mortality enough without others reminding me that I'm getting older. My God, dude. Jesus, if you all wanted to be depressed, just come over here. Everybody's an asshole, and God's their king. Facebook is such a wretched place. Look, I will agree with you on that. Facebook is a hive of cancer. But I think we have different reasons for why it's cancer. I'm glad we can agree on that. Anyways, she's got more stuff. Like, if you go to, like, Supernatural, 
I think this is just like a whole con of that. She's got the numbers, Lamashtu, Run Away, or Let Just Go. I, I, you can't click on them. They're like unused things, so... What the fuck, right? Most incredible spirit box session ever. Dude, is that the same spirit box we've seen like in episode 80 to... I think it was like episode 90-ish we saw a spirit box. Is that the same one? What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, it's like connecting everywhere. Have you ever wanted to actually talk with spirits in real time? Spirit boxes are a fairly recent trend that allegedly allow you to do so by sweeping, scanning radio frequencies and allow. Yeah, Steve Huff of Huff Paranormal. Yeah, we saw it. Dude, this is a link. What the fuck? He has also created numerous spirit boxes and uploaded videos to YouTube of their use. Huff claims that they are the real deal, although other researchers call them fake. One research even claims that the spirits he communicates with are calling him out on one of his videos. So wait a minute. If you... Hold on, that doesn't make any sense, because let's say people are saying he's fake for calling out a spirit. If the other dude is talking to the same spirit, does that mean he's really fake because he did talk to a spirit? So what are you, a fucking idiot? What, what the fuck? Whatever, man, I'm not going to get into the turf war here. Believe what you want to believe. If you think stuff, St Steve Huff, <laughs> stuff, <laughs> Steve Huff is bullshit, or if he's not, that's not my concern. I'm here to browse, make some jokes, see what we can find, and that's about it. But I think that's really the extent of the nameless void. There's not much really else to look at. Uh, I mean, I think, honestly, the dead journal is a little more exciting, but the dead journal is actually... No, it's actually, I guess, uh, fairly alive. It's got, like, 2017. They got, like, other stuff, like my website over here, which is actually a link to the Onion link right over here. Uh, user info and... Yeah, that's about it. They got like a journal archive and yeah, so this is Raven. I guess if you really wanted to look at hot shout out to, to Raven. Now one of them is don't push me away, but then she also hates people. So it's like, it's like, dude, what the fuck do you want? Like make up your mind. You know what I mean? Let's go to something else, dude. So this is fucking, uh, for all the right reasons, our dream is to see a world where sexual services are no longer stigmatized and are available to everyone. We aim to become the first online discreet and trustworthy escort agency. Ah, oh, shit, dude. Dude, the last time I showed you guys any form of an escort agency was like a long time ago. This had a blue look to it. That's all I remember. And I actually wasn't able to really get around a whole lot, but there was a lot of escorting going on there, allegedly. So here we got some more escorting, all right? So for those of you who don't know what escorting is, it's it's paying a woman or a man for sexual services, okay? It's like fucking prostitution, except they're just coming along with you. You give a donation for their time or pay for their time. You don't pay for sex, so it gets past it. It's fucking stupid. Let's go into it. <laughs> Our pseudonym, our, our, our pseudonymous rep, well, I cannot read tonight, dude, it's like fucking, it's like two in the morning, <laughs> but none of them have a reputation system, all of them appeared overnight by magic, with the same set of girls, wait, hold on, let's start from the beginning, hold on, I will assure safety and quality of service for providers and clients alike, without sacrificing privacy, our financial overhead is much lower than traditional agencies, clients will pay less, while service providers will earn more, alright, so it's a win-win for everyone, cheap sex, and they make more. So all of them appeared overnight by magic with the same set of girls they've always had. Every girl provides every service and every girl will travel worldwide at the drop of a hat. This is not reality. These are all run-of-the-mill scams put together by some schmuck who doesn't realize the work it takes to start a new agency. Yeah, man, pimping is a hard game, dude. No, Nobody can just be a pimp, all right? You gotta understand, pimping requires some fucking level of expertise, all right? It's like a fucking pussy logistics company or a dick logistic company or a... Or whatever's in between, all right? Remember, it's all a spectrum. We know we have a long road ahead of us, and that's why we need your help. What is an escort service without escorts? Since we don't have the luxury of being able to fabricate our girls out of thin air from Google Images and a copy-pasted bio, we need referrals. If you can refer an escort to us, or happen to be one yourself, please apply to be- Aw, oh, damn, dude! Dude, I can, apply to I can apply to sell my dick on the internet? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> is this email areas serve sample photos about you when will you be open what services do you offer why don't you hire jane doe she is hot and here is her website most escorts work for an agency that requires exclusivity if you found someone with a website pretty solid she already works for someone else in addition legitimate service providers work for a living would you give up your steady job for an unknown new company what we're saying is this please do not refer escorts to us without first asking them it wastes your time our time and their time 
So I get it might seem legit. All right, let's go into this. We accept every race and every body type. You don't need to be experienced, but you must be willing to learn. Refer service providers to us and earn up to one thousand euros that's a lot of fucking you know referral money dude donations any financial support you can give is greatly appreciated you may donate bitcoin to this address your donation will be listed publicly in the blockchain if you want to donate more discreetly you're welcome to contact us for a private donation address donations will be used to locate new service providers in order to expand the areas we cover as well as further develop the site and pave our expenses until we are fully up and running if you want to see our dream material what the fuck am i kickstarting you to sell pussy what the f- what? What is this? What is life right now? I'm I'm looking at a website which is a Kickstarter for selling for, for selling escorts. Or right, what what is this? Donations are not guaranteed to be redeemable for services. Though we may give token rewards or exclusive offers to early supporters in the future. Oh, see, so, so I guess you get something out of it. A 25% discount for like 30 minutes. <laughs> you will need to sign a message with the address you used to donate to make sure your wallet supports this if you want this option open to you if you want this please make sure you're sending from a bitcoin wallet that allows signatures applications the form is for service provider application services now that's about it oh yeah it just takes you to the fucking like submit your escort list or whatever the hell it is so here's the thing we've come across a website that's just budding right now so i might I might add this. I don't know. I mean, it's not really that exciting uh, because the thing is, it's just the escort field. Like, I mean, if you want to see escorts, you can find them on the clear web too. Like there's many escort agencies and fuck, you can go on like, I think, what is it? Like Kijiji or Craig's Craigslist. Yeah. I think you can, yeah, you can just go on there and they have like the personal side of things. Like what the fuck is it? Um, it's like encounters or whatever the fuck it is. You go on there and you can, like, fucking find escorts in your... That's where the women in your local area are, okay? You know, see those ads? That's where they're sitting at is, is Craigslist, right? So you, you can get yourself some some cheap goods at the price of almost being potentially stabbed by, by, by some... I don't know, dude. It's, it's late at night. Don't listen to what I'm really saying at this point, okay? Don't fucking go out and get an escort. It's pretty fucking illegal, all right? Depending on where you live, don't do it. You can get some STDs and shit. I don't want to be viable, but here's for all the right reasons. These people are a budding enterprise. They want to be an escort agency, but they're not an escort agency yet. So they want some donations. I I don't know the legality of this, so I'm just going to say please don't donate. That being said, for all the right reasons, we are going to go to the next fucking website. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Oddities Emporium, the weirder side of the onion. Now... I showed you some of those places where I find a lot of these, like, websites from, like, link lists, IRC chat rooms, and sometimes you have, like, people who fucking do it for you right over here as presents. So here are some of the websites that you can find. I'm not obviously going to click on all of them, but uh, this is containing a website called an escort service for all the right reasons, and I found that through a link list, but it seems like this was popular enough that somebody posted it on their own little links li like little link list for themselves. Now over here they actually have uh, they actually have a place where you can submit stuff too, but uh, I, I'm not going to go through all that. That's that's something you can put in if you if you really want to help this individual. Now if you look at some of the stuff we found over here, they've got uh, something over here called uh, you know like uh, the 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 lion face cat face I guess you could say. It does spins. That's about it. Someone went through all the effort of setting up a web server, typing two characters into a web page, and animated them. Now if I actually open it up, what the fuck are we going to see? Like a fucking dick. No, somebody, somebody made that. Ladies and gentlemen, this this is some people, web, any fucking kind of website. You know how some people tell you you only find hitmans or some weird shit like that? Let me tell you. A grand majority of it can be shit like this, all right? So <laughs> somebody went through to animate all that, and they got little animations. Like, if you look at it far enough, I think, like, the eyes sort of move a little apart. They're, like, kind of winking and, like, looking at you. But uh, that being said, that was about it. I'm going to kill that. Now, it's got old Hustler magazines. Remember that time you got a craving to look through your grandfather's moldy old Hustler mags? Well, don't. Well, neither do I. Oh, you don't? Well, neither do I. But here's a place to buy them. Or, you know, you could just use Bing images like the rest of the internet generate Bing images. Wait, doesn't Bing just straight up, like, steal Google search data? What the fuck? <laughs> You got Casa de Ioni, Ethnic Tits and Puss. Now, I'm not going to click on any of the porn because I'm... I'm, I don't, I don't want to go into, like, dude, fucking some underage shit could happen. That's not fucking going around. However, the images, then the weird-ass corner symbols to compare boobs and vajayjays across a spectrum of races. White chicks are curiously absent here. There's a submission form, but I haven't seen this updated since I ran across it, like, five years ago. 
That means it's probably not fucking upgraded. But if I go up over here, this actually has a pack ward site. Remember this guy? Pack ward, dude. He's got all the computer shit. Let me actually see if anything's been updated real quick. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Wait, random files. This might actually be updated. This might be updated. He's still got the Pokemans. Remember that shit? Let's go. Let's uh, let's head back real quick. Uh, they've got uh, P picks. The last reported update was 16th April. Of whoever knows what the fuck year in which the owner rants about her. Nobody wants to see this piss. I wonder why that could be. Uh, the same picture of some white chick peeing every day. You know, that sort of thing. Some people are into golden showers, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to, like, deliberately bookmark a website just to see somebody peeing. I mean, I, I see that shit live every day, dude, in the morning. Uh, you got the escort service. You got Goatsy. <laughs> I'm not going to open that because let me tell you what Goatsy is. Goatsy is like a picture where uh, some dude, like, sticks his fingers in his ass, stretches it, so you see, like, six inches into the fucking asshole, like, colon and shit. Obviously, it's a shock website. And I think one of them was weird when you click on them and freezes your browser and it's just, like, starts screaming really loudly. I'm watching gay porn! And, like, you know, it had, like, multiple shock variants of it. And you got nudist pee- Man, there's a lot of fucking peeing going on. What the fuck? Another site went incoherent rambling about how nobody will bookmark it. I wonder if it's the same guy for pee pics. Of course it is. Nobody else would be this weird and whiny. Update. I emailed the guy and he asked if I wanted to trade bathroom spy videos. I don't know what I expect. Oh, he asked him to trade bathroom spy videos? Oh, that's fucking weird. If you don't know what that is, it's like people who are like fucking... Like, well, it's like fucked up people who like record like people taking pisses and shit. Like spy on them. Like women. I guess men too. And... Just, like, upload... It's, like, fucking weird-ass shit. It's, like, illegal shit. Let me actually start it. Wow. Fucking camera killed itself as soon as I was getting on the golden shower fucking train. But, uh, yeah, this is one of the places where you find a lot of these websites. So, if you ever wanted to look for a place, this is, like, one of the places you would look for. Uh, link list, things like that. Oddities, Emporium. This is, like, just weird, weird files. But that being said, let's, uh, back out of this and go to something that isn't just piss-fucking-related. I actually do want to email the guy that's talking about pee. You know, see, see if he gets into some weird shit with me. That'd be fucking hilarious. But let's see something else. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a one minute, 40 second video over here. Uh, well above our average. And this video, obviously you can count the actual pixels going on over here. Looks to be better quality than what we usually see. That being said, because there's no obvious first frame to really fuck me up on, let's go hit play and see just what we find. All right, starting off, somebody walking. Oh, dude, don't tell me this is going to be a fucking one of those deep web vlogs I was excited to see. All right. Moving a little faster. All right, we got a little jump cut to a fucking river. Dude, this is one of those deep web vlogs. We're in California, as far as I can tell. Are we in Cal? Yeah, we're in Cali. Los coches. Dude, what the fuck? These videos are weird. It's not like they're inherently spooky. We'll have to see what this goes to. We're gonna focus on that Suburban. All right, Yukon Suburban, I don't know which one it is. Do you hear him, like, breathing? It's like ASMR shit, dude. All right, walk around more and more and more. Wait a minute, let me just get where this is actually from. I know this won't be like an actual fucking proper way for me to really gauge it, but... Ah, fuck. Hold on. Yeah, California license plate right over there. You can see the little F. Yeah, this is Cali. Or it could be Las Vegas, Arizona, something like that. Nevada, rather. Nevada, Arizona, because they're so relatively close. Okay, exit sign. See, this is like the shit that I find weird. It's like, what is the fucking reason for this being here? Alright. I mean, we get it. It's a nice looking exit sign. I'm glad you found it. <laughs> you just zoom into the exit. Okay. That was weird. Okay. A little drive. One, four. Dude, this is literally a deep web vlog. This is a storage area. 44H. You're telling us to go here? Okay, what the hell is this? It's like a fucking deep web vlog and a goddamn ARG. Wait a minute, hold on. Okay, let's go look at this a little more analytically. All right, so we start off obviously with a shot where we're trailing the ground. We then cut to 
what appears to be the river over here. And this is definitely in Southern California for sure, or Los Angeles around the area rather. And as we're going through, you know, we've got, if we, if we can go through over here, they're walking around, they definitely have a vehicle, all right? And they're going to their vehicle. It seems like this is their vehicle. Well, wait a minute, hold on. Blue Suburban was that. So, was this recorded a little bit before? Did they go up to a blue Suburban? I don't know. See, that's a weird shot. Like, was it taken before or after the Suburban had left the fucking parking lot? That's a little weird. Then you got this exit sign, presumably from the building that's shown a little bit ahead. And, like, after this, you have, like, this weird cut. Listen to it. Like, after this, like, zoom in. Little beep, talk on the radio. KFMB, which is a radio probably local for sure. They're driving on the road, so they definitely have a fucking car. You can't see what the fucking car it is. And then you cut to what appears to be a storage center, because I don't think this is where people live, right? Or if, if you're just going by what's around over here. It's one, four. You see, that's like the orange, like, outlining of a fucking storage unit, right? And you go inside. Of course, these are storage units. Look at the fucking locks on them, right? These can't be apartments. They're not fucking depressing like this. H45. But, and then they show us the inside of one of these storage units. They got like a file cabinet, some boxes, shit like that. And then it's got H44. So the thing is, obviously, I feel like this is an ARG. Now, there could be more to this. It could be less. There could be more to the video, right? Obviously, it might be like seeing a snippet of it, or this might just be edited specifically. But the thing is, is that looking around into it, it's set in Southern California. All right, so what you can really do is if you wanted to piece together this whole thing, you could, like, basically run this, like, you could try to find this plaza and, I guess, sort of look for any storage units around it. I think one of the things that anybody can do, I'm, I, I like these fucking deep web vlogs. You can go, like, full analytical onto them. It's not like a fucking edgy art project. Of course, one of the things is, is if we sort of zoom, uh, yeah, right here. I think if you wanted to, you could also kind of pinpoint this fucking road down a little bit too, using Google Street View. Finding this place... Actually, wait a minute. If anything's not mistaken, you can look for Algen Exterminating Pest Control Fumigation Thermite... Termite Inspection... Not Thermite. Termite Inspection. So Algen Exterminating. And then you find this place. And then you can go and find H44. So... They gave you so many clues that they actually want you to fucking, I guess, find this place, but I don't really condone that. Don't put yourself in fucking any kind of danger or go after this kind of shit. That was a little bit of my examinations, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're going to back out, and uh, I think we basically had seen what else, what, what really is to do here. So let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you find. Uh, let me know what you uh, assess out of this. Very interesting. Definitely a cut above the standard edgy art shit that we see. I like these deep web vlogs, arg type deals. That being said, let's go uh, check out something else. Look at that. Christ End Time Ministries. Holy and solely to the glory of God. Man, I'm finding a lot of fucking godly shit, too. Like, can we can we get some more conspiracies right now, actually? I'd rather say fucking... Anyways, here we got Christ End Time Ministries. They've got Satan Secrets, Electronic Warfare, Testimonies, Final Calls Before the Raptures from the Heart of Jesus, Teachings, Prayers, and Media. So I'm kind of interested in electronic warfare, so we're going to hit start on that. Satan's secrets and maybe some final calls. But uh, as we go down over here, they got the final calls before the rapture. Uh, now, as far as I know, guys, like, everybody has been trying to always guess the rapture. For those of you who don't know, and I don't know much about this either, so, I'm just, so take what I say with a little bit of a grain of salt. Actually, lots of salt. Um, the rapture, as far as I know, is the point where good Christians will go up to heaven, and those who are not good or not worthy enough will be stayed behind. So I, I guess if the rapture is happening, I'm stayed behind with a lot of bad other people, and good Christians get to go, and something like that. As far as I know, that's what it is. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Please clarify in the comment section below. Don't Please don't turn it into a religious turf war. I know it never happens, but I just always like to mention it just because it's about the deep web, not fucking religion right now. But the thing is, is that as far as I know, that's what the rapture is. So these are final call, And everyone's trying to always guess it as far as I know. I remember the last big moment was like, like every year some new priest 
in America, or, uh, Amer America, or what the fuck? <laughs> Some new priest in America or around the world, like, tries to guess it, and they're always almost wrong. So, here we go, final calls for the rapture, final revelations of the Holy Spirit given to the children of God. Praise Jesus, King and Savior, published on 19th July 2017 to decree blessings over every area of our life. We pray, dear Father in heaven, please grant us a... Anyways, this is simple shit. Uh, from the heart of Jesus, and then you got Satan's secrets. But I'm going to go to, like, electronic warfare. So here we've got the 10 detrimental health effects of wireless devices by the EMFSA. I don't know who the EMFSA really is, so... I guess I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to fucking, I'm going to have to guess whatever the fuck. All right. Ray, letter to raise awareness about cell tower placements. Um, MD of Paracelsus uh, Clinic on Biological Health from Wireless Technologies. Open letter to GPs and other medical colleagues. Oh, fuck, dude. Children develop tumors, cell tower on school properties. Um, cell tower active and operated by South African police. Smart meters countdown, blah, blah, blah. They got, like, YouTube call-outs right over here. Like, fucking Still Small Boy, Israeli News Network, Nibiru, Planet X20. Fuck me in the ass, dude. Related channels, Take the Red Pill. I think we might have seen that. Leak Project, Prophecy in the News. Now the end begins. A lot of it is, like, you know, the end of the fucking world. Man, I always find it, like, whenever people mention this shit, it's, like, fucking... It always, like, it always, like, makes me fucking weird. Because I'm, like... Because I always read this shit, and it's, like... And no matter what religion it is, that like when there's some dude like banking on the end of the world, like especially media, let me tell you, when you work in a media, if you're gonna talk about the end of the world, it's like fucking clickbait on TV or some shit. People are always gonna fucking use it to scare the shit out of people. Look, the world's gonna end one day for a fact. All right, don't fucking sweat it. It's like a rose circle. You know what I mean? Just accept it. All right, live your life till then. You know, and do the right fucking thing and all that bullshit. Man, I realize at like 2 in the morning, I get really fucking preachy. I gotta stop. <laughs> Whatever. But I thought electronic warfare was gonna be a little more intense. It's really just, you know, detrimental health effects, things like that. Let's go to Satan's Secret. The Catholic Secret Revealed. Mary worship is from the child mother-child worship of Babylon. The truth will set you free. Creationists are upset over Pope Francis's pro-evolution statements. 1,400 shocking years of Islam. 4,000-year-old artifact deny, identifies... Oh, damn, dude. Dude, you guys are starting war. Dude, this is like a fucking reli no religious turf wars, okay? And by the way, we are not responsible for whatever these people are saying. That's their fucking choice. Exposing the ruler of darkness. This is the side of YouTube that's like all conspiracy. I think there's like one channel on YouTube that literally goes conspiracy heavy as fuck. And here's we got here we went from Satan Secrets to Chemtrails, which are a forced airborne vaccination that no one knows about. Got rabies. Yeah, I don't think we're getting rabies from fucking chemtrails. It's just rich people with jets flying up in the air, dude. What the fuck? This is the sign of Satan? What? This is Satan? What, what, what is, is this? Is this some Satan shit? <laughs> I, I don't think that dude really knows. You know, he's given the sign of Satan. If you're a Christian, then don't show the sign. Black goo. Oh my God, we've seen this shit everywhere, dude. Black goo, it's like... Alien technology, like ferrofluid shit like that. It's what the fuck? Pope Francis calls for one world government to save humanity. Uh, the one world government is like that, uh, what is it, New World Order type shit? But uh, yeah, you know, whatever. More Morgellons cure pulsed magnetism. All right, I don't really think this is Satan's secret. I mean, some of these things seem kind of good for humanity. So what are you trying to say? Is Satan a fucking good guy or a bad guy? I think that, I, I don't know. I don't know, let's go into this. Final calls before the rapture. All right, these are like stories, so final revelations given. Again, when you go to like the end of the world, like some people, they get like really preachy about it, and it's just like super depressing shit to read too. Like sometimes a lot of people, they'll like reach at certain things, and I always tell people this, like they're always scared of the end of the world, but I'm like, dude, it's like a fucking roast circle, okay? Just accept it. It's gonna happen, all right? Just chill out, accept that shit, and move on with your fucking life. Anyways, though, take up the sword of the spirit. Fight the good fight. Oh, man, don't don't tell people to fight and shit. All right, let's 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 get out of here. So this was like, th th this is this is literally just uh, Christian end time ministries. So about us, let me actually see the about us section. Let me see where they've got over there. Like this is just like obviously like general like subcategories. Here we go. Christian end time ministries is a nonprofit Christian ministry based in Cape Town, South Africa. Was it? Yeah, South Africa was the same place where you found the crack cookies. 
which ironically were called crack, not ironically, which were called crack, not because, you know, obviously they, they didn't contain crack, but they made a cracking noise when you split them. I actually, I actually had an email with the people who fucking ran the original bakery, Lectoria's Bakery, Lectonia's, but Lectonia, I think it was, or Lectoria, as a long time ago. Those people were very fucking nice, I gotta say, good for them, and I'm, God bless your cookies, <laughs> but uh, here you got Cape Town, South Africa. We help all ministries, believers, churches by distributing end-time materials such as printed booklets, CDs, distribution of believers' and personal testimonies through this website. We hope the articles, prayers, testimonies, books, and all other materials on the site reaches more and more people to spread the gospel and revelation. Please like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter to keep up to date. All right, follow them on Twitter, guys. End-time ministries, I guess. Our vision, holy and solely led by Jesus and the Holy Spirit. And our mission to the glory of the Father. All right, well, God bless for all you people. Good luck with everything. You know, uh, all, all these people in Cape Town, they've got multiple books, Spiritual Warfare and the Purple Robe Book. And, uh, you know, all, all, all things considered, please don't turn to a religious turf for it. It was nice to read this, and God bless them. You know, may, as long as they ain't hurting anybody, I'm all cool with it. But with that being said, let's go to another site. I spent way too much time on this. So what is this? This is somebody talking about an attack. All right, shortly after I realized this attack would apply, this is a free net site, by the way, would apply to the web in general and could have severe implications for other network software. The attack. The attack is simple. A malicious website will send an, H an XHR request or a hidden image tag to a website it wishes to test for. If the user has recently visited the requested website, the domain will resolve respond faster than if they had not, due to DNS and other caching. The same origin policy does not prevent this, as requests can still happen and be measured. What's the big deal? Trackers, scammers, hackers, or anyone else could check if you have visited any given site recently. Scareware could use this to extort users who visit adult websites. Yeah, that is true. If you're going to some fucking weird-ass depraved porn, people could do that. This type of thing is possible using normal web bugs, but the target website needs to install this themselves, and many browser extensions and disabling third-party cookies stop them. Time bleed is not so simple to prevent. Tor Browser. Tor Browser effectively defends against this attack by properly isolating connections. Yeah, basically what Tor does is it routes everything to 127.0.0.1, so you all look the fucking same no matter where you connect to, right? It bounces you through localhost. Or Fox, the unofficial... But most trusted browser for using Tor on Android devices sadly does not defend against time bleed, which could be used to help correlate multiple connections. Orfox needs to use the unlinkability feature specified in the Tor browser draft. Other networks, Freenet, Zeronet, and ITP are vulnerable to varying degrees. So basically the site is kind of to help you. You know how I made those videos where like you should learn how to stay safe on the dank web? This is one of those things. If you go to certain websites, even on the clear web really, you might get fucked. You know, people could, like, find out where you're going to, and they might use that against you or things like that. Scareware is a real fucking thing. You don't hear about it too much, but it's 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 real. Freenet is affected by this the worst. Some Freenet links are consistent to every file, so an attacker could generate many links for files they are interested in checking for, and they could use indexes, search engines to create a list. Like many of the other networks in the post, Freenet's default and most popular implementation, Fred used an HTTP server to provide access to websites in the network. Although it is not perfect, Freenet does a decent job protecting. All right, despite this, time bleed can be fucking used. And then you have Zeronet. Now, these are the other, uh, these are the other like, services. We haven't looked at Zeronet yet, but I'm going to have to go look into it just to add another repertoire of things we can go look around. I don't know much about Zeronet, so that's not really relevant to me. I2P, we looked at a little bit before, but I2P, to me, I, I still have to, like, dabble into it again just because it's kind of confusing to even connect to it, too. And at the same time, trying to find websites among it is just kind of weird. But if you uh, go through ITB, everything is basically pretty much fucking, like, aside from Tor, everything has a little bit of an expose. So with that being said, this is just a website to help you understand. Just by going to certain websites, you can still be fucking tracked. Tor effectively helps you if you're using the desktop package by routing you through localhost. Android, it doesn't have that, but, you know, you're running a risk. Clear web, you're at the mercy of whatever the fuck could happen with whatever browser you're using. The other sites, Freenet, Zero, Freenet, which was routed through your web browser itself, you know, even though it has its protections, it's still, it's still well known. So just be careful about browsing the dank web, you know, have a VPN on you, use multiple layers, all right? Use multiple condoms, I guess you could say, because 
Security is the key over here, and making sure you're anonymous and staying anonymous is the ultimate goal. It's not hard to do. You just got to make sure to walk properly, okay? You just got to make sure to have a couple things that are effectively ingrained in your head, and you'll be safe. But I think we're going to back out of this. I think we've uh, really shown you more than we need to on this. There's not really much to cover. Um, be safe on the internet. Don't do stupid shit. Let's go see some of the websites. Oh, man, more of this black goose shit. Man, more of this black goose shit? What the fuck, dude? Every, every time I come across this kind of shit, dude, it's like fucking, it's like, it's like it never ends, dude. But we always see the black goo, so we'll get back into it. This is the Crafts Files thing. It's all about conspiracies. And I think it's actually set in Australia, just because there's like their own tab for just Australia. Well, let's go into it. So David fingers one black goo. David should not be fingering black goo, let me tell you, that's... That's a pretty fucking wrong thing to do. Is an intelligent nanotech sentient liquid rumored to have been the real cause of the Falkland War? And I really have to ask Amaru about that shit, too. He really, he probably knows more about that history. The reason behind the Deepwater Horizon oil disaster of 2010. So the story goes, so is this X-Files or, wait, was the oil horizon? That was the BP oil spill, wasn't it? Or was that? I was the BP oil? I think it was 2010, yeah. So the story goes, is this X-Files or real life, whatever it is these days, is the human race a hybrid species gene spliced with a radically different, more advanced alien genome as hinted in nearly every ancient tradition here on Earth? What? Oh, man. Sometimes, like, there is reaching, and there is fucking, like, trying to grab onto the Empire State Building with buttered hands, all right? Fuck. Do our crypto governments fear that this newly discovered black goo is a kind of reset button left here by our creators, the engineers of the Prometheus movies, to wipe out most of our... When you start comparing your theory to movies is when it just fucking falls through. To wipe out most of our overpopulated planet and begin again. Are we all just dumbed down drones working on an invisible treadmill while the planetary elite pull the strings, as they have been doing for tens of thousands of years? Expose a pathogenic off-planet artificial intelligence. Working from a 77-page PowerPoint presentation, this presentation is a combined work of Alfred Lambermont Weber, Christine Anderson, okay, so this is like a video over here, exposing predatory pathogenic artificial intelligence. You know, you go on, this is like the conspiracy side of YouTube, dude, be very fucking careful because everyone has their own fucking opinion and it's goddamn crazy reading their comment sections, let me tell you, trust me, I used to be in that shit, I used to like, re I used to religiously watch this shit just to kill time and it killed my brain cells in the process, so they keep on like, like, they keep on mentioning like the Prometheus movies, it's like, guys, just chill out on the comparison it's making it so much less it's making it so much more hilarious in 1837 andrew cross this is arkins and the akari insects reported the london electrical society concerning the accidental spontaneous generation of life in the form of akaris genus insect while he was conducting experiments on the formation of artificial crystals by means of prolonged exposure to weak electrical current though numerous strict experiments under a wide variety of conditions utterly inimical to life as we know it the insects continued to manifest okay so insects came out of life out of nowhere a shocking presentation by the brilliant german scientist harold kutzvela offering unparalleled descriptions of ai black goo archons and nasa's deepest dark secret plans to usurp the bodies minds and souls of all mankind why is it like nasa that's always behind it like nasa's job is just fucking space related dude why are we just assuming that fucking nasa is behind on like you know, get, like, what the hell, dude? It's like literally NASA this, NASA that. Like, shut the fuck up for a second, dude. Everyone's just up on NASA's ass cheeks. I think I've seen this video before where people are looking at, like, black goo. Um, and, like, more and more and more. So, okay, this was Lady Gaga thing. See, see, now we're bringing Lady Gaga into this. Like, what the fuck, guys? Okay, like, this is making all of it seem just much more non-believable so you have comments over here r davis is like why black goo more sinister is the invisible to the eye odorless tasteless slimy and greasy to touch goo that is ingeniously incorporated into the drinking water that comes out of my tap son of a bitch dude <laughs> this is like fucking this is some super like conspiracy laden shit right now dude and then over here you got r davis is like the only fucking person commenting about it. yeah r davis is literally the only commenter that's all it is Oh, shit, he's trying to fight back. Like, look at what he's saying. It's like fucking, we were creating the image of God, all right? Uh, due to their volcanic origin, it would be inhabitable. 
but in fact, they are teeming with life. To wipe out most of our popular planet and begin again, that is the best we can do. The black goo was created by God to kill off his children, and God caused the elite of planet Earth, like the gods of big oil, as in the men who James Corbett talks about in his movie, How Big Oil Conquered the World, and it all, oh my lord. Oh, you know when you, like, fucking make up those memes about people wearing, like, tinfoil hats and shit, and you, like, joke about it? Dude, like, that's a joke, but right now what we're witnessing is, like, some fucking reality by fucking people. Like, these people fucking, these people are getting, like, heated about this shit, dude. This is, like, where, this is where I sort of chill, and I, and I don't fuck with the community behind it, because this shit can get fucking intense, dude. These people get fucking racy about their stuff. So what we're witnessing right now is, like, R. Davis talking and not getting one fucking response back. So let's actually go back all the way to the top. What else do they got? They got podcast. They got a little podcast going on. Um, ooh, ooh, the podcast looks kind of interesting. Predator of Man with Wayne Bush. Consciousness, NDEs, and Psychedelics with Wayne Bush. Crasp, oh, zombie medications. Son of a bitch, dude. And here, let's go to the Australia category, I guess. Queensland state government and spreads misinformation, dude. She she looks just fucking shit. God damn, she looks fucking pissed, dude. I'm gonna back out of that. that's fucking weird. Let's go to science and tech. All right, so let's go see what that is. The rise of hyper realistic sex robots and the end of humanity. <laughs> the fuck? What is this, dude? <laughs> what the fuck? It's like they just discovered the Japanese are coming up with some racy shit, and they do this without fuck. Sex robots are a dangerous trend, with robots clearly present itself with problems involving reproduction and motivation. Uh, PSA from the show Futurama called, oh my fucking god, dude, Jesus Christ. Another terrifying aspect of artificial intelligence, the capability for unwitting surveillance Look, man, if you're going to buy a fuck doll that's Rupert Advanced, I think you kind of open yourself up to being a little bit spied on, all right? I highly doubt the CIA is tapping into fuck dolls to see how they're getting fucked, all right? That's not happening. But it's cute that you think it is. <laughs> Let's go to consciousness. It's like it's like they just uncovered what, what like Asia is coming out with, dude. Have you seen fucking what the Japanese do with their adult videos and shit? You would be fucking surprised. That led me to con- oh, here it is. The Matrix control system, the path towards awakening. What the fuck is this, dude? <laughs> what the fuck? Is that like- is that like a prehistoric Solarian, motherfucker? <laughs> what are we looking at, dude? <laughs> Thought forms and dark entities. Yeah, dude, cause- cause an edited picture of the insane clown posse is really fucking leading me to that. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, you know what? I'm a fucking chill. I'm going to leave the crafts files because I think we took a little cursory dip into the pond, but I'm not going in for a fucking full swim. Let's go check some other shit out. And ladies and gentlemen, that concludes another episode of the Dank Web, episode 109. Ladies and gentlemen, today we've seen some religious stuff, a lot of black goo stuff, to be honest. A place where we can find some pee pictures, I guess you could say, and an arg that I just really happen to fall in love with. I want to see more of it if I can actually end up finding it. Let me know what you think about it. I really do want to see discussion on that in the comment section for this episode. But uh, as always, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike or dislike it. Let me know what you think about this episode and what we could change to make things better. After all, you know, it's, it only makes the product better as far as I'm concerned. That being said, this is me, Mudahar. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe, dislike or dislike it. I am out.